senior year, Mr. Castillo walks up to me and says, well, let's start a robotics team. You want to be on it? Uh, what's robotics? <laughs> he said, well, here's some pictures, and here's what we're planning to do. I don't know how you're going to do it, but here's what we're aiming for. And uh, four months later, we actually had a robot. And we started with just a base frame. It's just bare metal. And we spent, what, like 300-some hours at... Uh, the Wells house and it's cool in mine. And we made it to Smoky Mountain Regionals and we finally made it out to uh, St. Louis. It's a, definitely a good experience and a lot of uh, a lot of learning experience on the way. Definitely a lot of team building as well. <laughs> yeah. so we spend that much time together in a small space. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. The, snow. Yeah. Yeah. the snow was a big part of it so that popped us out for a few days but we were able to get around that and uh, you know just a big part was getting able to be so us seniors including Bill are all going into engineering in college and so this was a great experience for us to get introduced a little bit into the engineering field and also into some of like the planning side, the fundraising, the marketing. And so that, that was a big part of it too. Of course you all gave us the four thousand dollars that we were able to go to war with and we're very thankful for that opportunity that you granted us. But um, because usually an estimated per year is about twenty thousand dollars for this program to spend. And so we're very thankful we've been able to do that. And of course, we had a lot of fun just being able to go see worlds and the, you know the size and how many people like what all they put into it. Because there's teams that are in the U.S. starting teams that are in other countries and they'll spend you know thousands and thousands of dollars to fly people out there to go introduce this to other teams, so it's just a great learning experience, and hopefully the, a lot more students will get into it, and, you know, we're looking for students with, you know, interest in fundraising, business, marketing, you know, it's not just for engineering students, it's a whole broader spectrum of interest. It's run almost, almost like a business itself, because you need people who are going to go out there and be a, uh, like a human resources department almost, go out and contact people and say, hey, we're doing this and we need your funding, this is the reward you'll get if we'll, if we'll allow us to put your name on a robot, it will be a sponsorship. And then you also need the mechanic, per se, who built the robot. It's kind of like running a small business. We realized that the size of worlds was ridiculous. There were like 50,000 people there, 40 or 50,000 people there, over, how many, like 700, how many teams? 700 teams. Overall, this took the whole St. Louis brand stadium and then some. And when it says worlds, it's a world inside of its own. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was really, really massive. And we, we only have a small amount of people on our team, but there were teams with like 50 plus people on their team. They would have teams, they would have individual teams among their teams, which was, I mean, it was ridiculous to us, but we, we got to see the size of how big this program is. So it was really good. And right now we have a we have a slideshow showing uh, most of our time at regionals and worlds. Um, currently, like right now, for example, it's showing the pit area, and the pit area is where the whole robotics team has area to work. And it's interesting for like the really big teams because 50 plus people can't fit into a 10 by 10 area. So um, that was one interesting we found out. Uh, here are some shots of us, for example, on the field. Um, what was really interesting, one of the most interesting aspects, I thought, about the whole robotics team was the fact, as, as John had already said before, was teamwork. Um, like, for example, mechanical, the, me the mechanical side of things, would the, they, those people would be the ones to, like, build the, the metal frame to structure everything correctly, but then we also had to have an electrical team and also a programming team. And if one of those people, or if one of those little groups didn't uh, fill up to what they were supposed to do, then we wouldn't have a robot that wouldn't work. So again, teamwork is a very vital part of this, and we do need lots of members to be able to run it efficiently. One of the key concepts of FIRST Robotics is what's called gracious professionalism one of the most impressive things that I've ever seen. It teaches the concept of even though you're competing against someone, 
you want them to perform their best, and you want to help them any way you can. If we uh, broke apart or needed a tire or needed a gear, we could tell the announcer, hey, Team 6219 needs this, and they would make an announcement. And almost every time someone would come running with a part and say, here, we want to help you guys out. Uh, really impressive just uh, community of professionals that were there. And we had a blast at the World's Championships. And certainly want to make note and say thank you so much to the board for supporting our team uh, financially. There was a donation given, and we sincerely thank you from the bottom of our hearts to make this possible for the students. Uh, not only this year, but for many years to come. So we're excited about it. We have a couple of videos that I'd like to uh, let just real short, and then we'll do a demonstration of the robot, and uh, we'll let you guys get on with the rest of the business. But this